Alright guys, here's a battle between me and the uh, ToubyFan17. Um, yeah, sorry about the graphics, they're not quite good, so, yeah, I'm working on getting them better. So, yeah, here we go. This is the first battle from my tournament. Um, yeah, and this is against my real-life friend, Jack. He leads with an Espeon, and his eye lead for Claydol, and the... Um, this isn't a EV train clay doll, so I I didn't think it would do much damage. But yeah, he goes for the grass knot, and I thought, well, well, with me having um, shadow ball on this, and with it being expert belted, I thought it would do tons of damage. But yeah, it <laughs> it was kind of fail. So yeah, um, I do like nothing to his espion with shadow ball he just goes grass knot again to finish me off i just left clay doll in there for death fodder so yeah okay now i go into metagross and metagross this is my special metagross this is um yeah this is my grass knotting metagross and i go for a bullet punch because i want to get some quick damage on it i didn't i knew it wasn't going to kill it but he goes grass knot and I, so I predicted that, and yeah, it does nothing. Um, my leftovers will recover nearly all of, all, a lot of it. <laughs> Not nearly all of it. Yeah, well, close enough. So yeah, I just go for another bullet punch to just finish it off, which is really cool. <sighs> so yeah. Now I get my leftovers recovery again, and yeah. Now he goes out into Wrath as Salamence, and I have a lot of respect for this team because it's it's the six deadly sins. And thanks to my clear body, he can't get his Intimidate off. And basically, I'm like, well, I don't want to keep Metagross in, so I go out to my Agiligator. This is I it's not I don't think it's a Smogan move, so I'll have to check on that one. But yeah, he goes for the Earthquake, and yeah, that doesn't do much. I'm really proud of my for Alligator this battle. So yeah. Yeah, he goes Dragon Claw again. Uh, no, not again. He just goes Dragon Claw. Um, it's gonna leave me with just a little bit of health. And I go Ice Fang. And I'm sorry, but it gets the freeze. And I did I did a damage calculation on it. And yeah, if I hadn't have gotten the freeze on his um Salamence. I probably would have lost this battle, but, you know, that's the game, and you can't really help that. So, yeah, I go Ice Fang again just to finish off his Salamence. And, yeah. So, that's a dead Salamence. Um. <laughs> so, yeah, he goes out to Gluttony the Snorlax. Um. I go Ice Fang. Is. Yeah, I don't know why. But yeah, he does nothing. He goes return and just finishes off my Feraligator. I guess I just left it in there as death water or or something like that. But yeah, now I know he has return, and now I just go out into Hitmon Lee, who is my hero of the day. <sighs> so yeah, I go out into Hitmon Lee, and now I just close combat him for the for the kill. And right now, I don't really care about my Hitmon Lee losing his losing his stats because I had a feeling that his last Pokemon was going to be lost. And yeah, well, I know it was going to be lost because yeah, he told me, and that's a Blissey. So yeah, I just go for the close combat again, and well, I'll let the thing catch up. Yeah. And yeah, I just finish it off with a close combat, and of course I'm faster because all Blissies suck. Well, they don't all suck. It's just that it's nearly impossible to make out a really good Blissey. So yeah, it's going to take ages to die because there's heaps of health. So yeah, that's a dead Blissey. So yeah. Alright, good game, Pokemon Trainer Jack, uh, the Toby fan, um, yeah, it was a lot of fun battling you, and yeah, hope to verse you again soon, alright guys, well, um,
question of the day. And I'm sort of stealing this off Nacho, but I, hopefully he doesn't mind. Um, what is your favorite fighting type Pokemon? Mine, yeah, no, just solid fighting type. It would have to be Hitmonlee. So yeah, guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and yeah, peace, dudes. Bye.